Hey everyone, I've got a question today from my friend Marco in Italy. He said, my name is Marco and I've got some questions for you. I'm a member of the Pentecostal Church in Italy and with my worship team and friends, we would like to record our first disc. And my questions are, what is the right approach to the record, both spiritual and technical? Um, well, the, the right approach to any record, as far as I'm concerned, is find uh, great songs. Um, this, this all starts with the great songs. Um, and, you know, the interesting thing is these days, you don't have to have 10 or 12 songs to do a CD. Uh, that's what people think. That's what's in their head because that's the way the industry worked for so many years. But nowadays with uh, YouTube and all the, uh, you know, Spotify and the digital uh, nature of the music, you can record two or three songs, do five or six songs, but make sure they're good songs. So a, a good project starts with good songs. So I would encourage you to be a good song policeman. Make sure you pick the good songs, um, in both spiritually and technically. Uh, you you want to, um, you know, what are the songs saying? Just make sure they're good. And technically, you want to go to a proper studio where you can record them properly. Um, what sort of advice do you feel giving us? This is our first time that we approached a recording studio. Well, there's a lot of options in recording studios. Find one that you're comfortable with. It doesn't have to be high dollar. Uh, it doesn't have to be this exclusive place. Just somewhere that has good gear and I would encourage you to find a good engineer. Go to a studio, talk to the engineer. If you've got your own engineer, find out someone that understands the gear that uh, can put you uh, in a comfort zone because if this is your first recording, you're gonna be intimidated by a lot of things in the studio. Um, and you wanna find someone or somewhere where you can go that you feel good, the engineer is there to serve you. Um, I, I would get someone who understands the technical aspects of the studio and make sure the gear is proper and it's gonna put you in the best uh, possible situation to come up with a great project. Um, to me, as a guitarist, what advice do you feel you want to give? What should I do in arranging the songs? Uh, don't make them all about your guitar playing. <laughs> Sometimes I can tell the way an album sounds because, uh, by uh, uh, who arranged it by the way it sounds. Like if the drums are way up in the mix, I, I know a drummer produced this record. Or if the, all the guitar licks are up in the mix, I'll say, I know a guitarist mixed and produced this record. So I, I would just make sure you, you uh, take 50% of the guitar, the guitar driven things that you would do. Make it bigger than just about your guitar. Uh, and for other members of the team, what advice can you give? Uh, certainly pray. Uh, pray in your song selection. Pray that God leads you to the right studio. Pray that he gives you a message to, to share with the people. And um, when you get in the studio, just have fun, be yourselves, uh, it, make sure it's not all about one person. The, you're probably going to be slightly intimidated. Uh, that's to be expected if it's your first recording, but uh, listen to your producer, listen to the engineer, um, and just, uh, just have fun. Don't try to overdo it or overproduce it. I think what's going to translate to the people is just uh, real, genuine, authentic, heartfelt songs. So have fun with that. And if you get a chance, uh, send one off to us at donmoen.com, and uh, I'd love to hear some of the stuff. Uh, thanks again for your question, Marco. I love Italy, and I hope to be there again soon someday. Great musicians there, too. Uh, if you've got a question that you'd like to ask me, go to donmoen.com forward slash askdon, and I'll give it my best shot. God bless. Make it a great day.